Listener question time. Oh, look at this. We've got one from Andy from Richmond. Andy writes, Andy, what do I do when I'm trying to convince somebody that a 12-foot wide lane is dangerous, but they won't listen? Get this one a lot. Here's what you do. You reach your hands out on either side of their ears, and you box those ears. Another method is to point them in the direction of dozens of studies that have been put out by very smart people with very good credentials, like professional credentials that other professionals would love to see. You know, all the right schools, they work for all the right government agencies, and they put together these reports that say 12-foot wide lanes are more dangerous than narrower lanes. The other method is you send a couple of links to those very professional studies and then you just keep saying over and over and over again, we know that 12-foot wide lanes are dangerous. Why do you want to design dangerous roads? Look, if there's decades of data that says that 10 and a half foot wide or 11 foot wide lanes are safer than 12, just a foot or a foot and a half narrower, that there's that much of a difference, you shouldn't have the burden of proof. The burden of proof should be on them. Check out the links below. I'm gonna send you some information about lane width so that you can point and click your way and send some of this information on to people that you know. But look, not every professional is gonna be convinced. Why did the civil engineer cross the road? Because that's what he did last year. Don't worry about the lost causes. Get this information in the hands of people that matter, regular people, so that when they go to a public meeting, they know to speak up and say, hey, why do I see all these plans with these crazy wide lanes? No wonder there's no room for bike lanes. No wonder there's no room for sidewalks. Speak up. 